All right, guys, like always, I'm working on a 350Z. The AC quit working on this garbage, which to most people don't even care, but to me, it's a big deal. You gotta have AC. Just, it's stupid not to have it. Such an easy system to work with, and it's, you know, doesn't weigh that much. You're riding around with your girl and, you know, y'all got fucking swamp butt because you think you have a race car. <laughs> so, I'm trying to get the AC fixed this thing so I can drive it to the drift event this Friday and actually go and have fun and not just be a soggy, sweaty mess the whole entire time. But, like I said, I thought maybe the system would leak down because, you know, we did the HR swap, had everything disappart, you know, had everything disconnected on this thing. But it actually held pressure, um, so started, like, testing stuff. Immediately just jumped the clutch on the uh, starter, which you just send 12 volts to that one wire that runs, I said starter, but I just jumped the clutch on the compressor it's just that one wire that comes off. You send 12 volts to it. If the clutch engages and the compressor spins, then you know that's not an issue. So then the next thing I always look at is the uh, AC pressure switch, which is usually gonna be somewhere at the front of the car, you know, near the condenser or something like that. But this is what the bad boys look like. Um, in the Z, it's right back here. What you got, if you guys can see it, is a pain to get to, um, especially if you have intakes and stuff like this. But this is off of another car. Um, I just got my air compressor with a little chuck, whatever you want to call it. Set it for a 50 PSI. Cut the car on, cut the AC on. You know, stuck it right there, pressurized it. As soon as it saw the pressure, the compressor cut on. So now I know that that is the problem. So I'm going to switch that out. And the AC should work. If the AC doesn't work in this thing, I swear I'm gonna set this car on fire. Like I said, it was DE, AC and everything worked. It was a nice car, I loved driving it. AC went out, the compressor was like dumb expensive. I was like, man, I can buy like LS swap mounts for that. So I, that's what I did. I tore it apart and tried to make a race car out of it, LS swapped it, and now it's back like this after, you know, a year and a half of a lot of work. So the AC going out today really bugged me. <laughs> Especially because it's hot. Living in South Carolina, y'all, it's hot. Gotta have AC. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that done. I'm pretty sure that's gonna fix the AC and I'm also gonna mess with my right height a little bit. I'm going to raise the back just a touch because right now I'm on like a 265.30. Uh, so I got like plenty of sidewall room right here. But I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. Um, not that I need to, I just, I want it to like the, the tire just to be, you know, kissing the fender, whatever you wanna call it. On the front, we're gonna go down. So I mean, they'll, they'll tell you somewhere in between those two. Um, the front's too high, the back's too low. So we're gonna lower the front, raise the back. Should give me a good ride height that's functional, looks good, and will allow me to have bigger tires. Um, I'm really worried about the front of the car uh, with the angle kit and everything. I don't wanna tear up a fender, so I'm trying to be cautious. But I'm trying to reach out to the shop right now to get in touch with them about getting the front tires mounted. Um, Cause that's the only thing I really need to do before the drift event. But like, so I'm gonna get my AC fixed, get the ride height dialed, and I have some rear camera arms off of another pro or a, you know parts car. I'm gonna throw these on, throw those on there, and just kind of give it the you know the eyeball alignment, <laughs> just so I don't get like crazy camera wear and like destroy the tires at the drift event and you know not have as much fun as I would. So I'm gonna do that, and that's pretty much it that clean the car up and get you know get my tools and stuff like that organized and ready um that's it so yeah i'm gonna get that get that switch the pressure the pressure sensor switch <laughs> in there and see if the ac's fixed and i'll you know mess with the ride height show you guys the way it looks when it's she's finally sitting level and uh i might get to those camera arms in this video if not it'll be in the next one and we'll get tires and stuff like that but i just want to show you guys that with a little ac because it's you should you should know how to fix your ac when i was younger i was like the ac quit working i just took it out like whatever who cares but now like i enjoy ac you going on a date with a girl you can't be all sweaty don't hurt all sweaty either gee leave ac in your car <laughs> but yeah i'm pretty sure that's it i'm gonna switch them out and then i'll let you guys know for sure all right guys it's actually the next day i got the ac all taken care of it was that pressure switch but of course you know you lose all your uh freon whatever when you take the pressure switch out of one of these things, it's not like Chevy or Ford where it's got the little Schrader valve in it. Or, I'm sure there's other brands, but or other manufacturers. 
got that all taken care of not that that was a big deal but for me like i said i gotta have ac i don't even care um moving right along we're getting the thing getting this thing ready for a drift vent um been messing with the right height uh i think i got it about to raise it or just raise it a little bit more let's see if you guys can see you know how far up we've actually went so the car has been raised uh a good inch and a half so but we got the rear camber arms in here all i did was just um extend them like probably like half an inch um longer than the factory bar was and then zero or zero or move it all moved it all the way over on the uh little adjuster i don't have like the lockout bolts yet and i did the same thing on the spring bucket whatever just so it would kind of keep them somewhat even but the toe and everything looks okay i've driven the car with like that um like i said, just pulled the wheels and stuff back off to raise it a little bit but it looks like it's gonna be okay i'm fairly confident with uh taking it to a drift van as it is um, like i said i'll get the arms that i need and everything and we'll get this thing a proper proper alignment so but now all i have to do is get the front tires mounted i was just going to throw them in the z and go to the shop and have them do it but um it was a kind of a tight fit and i really don't want to dirty up the interior of my car so i'm just gonna you know take the front wheels off throw the tires in the truck and then shoot up there and um get them to mount me mount them for me and this thing should be good to go so it's looking good for this weekend i don't know yet i'm still going to say friday <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and get the wheels back on this thing and lower the car down let you guys see the ride height and the uh, camber that i have in the rear and uh it's probably gonna be it for this video but we're getting really close so let me get to it all right guys i'm coming to y'all from the future we'll say whatever i forgot to make it ending for the video um this is like the day after the drift event um but everything worked everything went good but as you'll see that in another video but the tire wear on my car was pretty decent I'll show you real quick especially just for like like i said just out in the yard kind of eyeing everything up but here's the only set of tires that i actually went through and it started to chunk a little bit like i said just because um i actually got lucky and got the short line a few times in staging and everything so but yeah 350z survived we did have some casualties which you guys will see that in the next video but for the most part she come back as she left still looking good <laughs> you can see how, see how high it is in the back and everything probably gonna have to raise the front a little bit and raise the back a little bit but like i said you guys will see all that in the next video but all right guys i'm super i'm super happy with this project i can't wait to go for more events and everything like that so you guys will get to see that but all right guys we'll see you on the next one